Yeah, she's just moving around the house now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome back to the Let's Play where I say yes to everything in The Sims 4 growing together. So we just finished up a date. Don't ask me why Erin is doing sit up. She just is. But I think it's time to go home because we have completed love day. And she also kind of needs to use the toilet and sleep a little bit. So let's head home. So if you remember in the last episode, Aaron and Kyle seems to be having a little bit of issues where they lost some romance and friendship bar. And I, what the, why does that? Okay, um, I suddenly don't like it very much anymore that Julie is able to sit up. What is she doing? I, is she destroying the diaper bin? Oh no. Oh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Should that be out of reach? <laughs> Should she not? Is that a remote control? Where did she get that from? What is happening? Oh, no. okay, okay, okay. Are we good? Can we tell Julie to, you know, s stop? How do we tell a baby to stop? Should we give her a toy? Maybe we should like redirect. Don't play with the remote control. Practice standing. <gasps> That's gonna be cute. Okay, but she's really tired. So we're gonna give her a toy. So she'll play with something she's allowed to destroy <laughs> and not the remote control. Give toy to Julie. That's a big mess you made. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna help them out a little bit there. <laughs> Look, Julie, that's a toy you're allowed to play with. All right, <laughs> please don't destroy our household items. Play with toys you're allowed to use. Much better. Oh, she looks happy. Aren't infants cute? They're really cute. They are. But as I was saying, there seems to be a few issues between Erin and Kyle. And someone in the comments suggested that it might be jealousy, which I thought made a lot of sense. Because every time Ian comes over, there seems to be some kind of fight. They don't get along well. And it might be because Kyle doesn't like how close Ian is to Erin. So that might be what's going on here. So let's see if that will lead to any more issues in the future. Kyle is taking care of julie put her in the play mat there's definitely a lot more movement now like she rolls over in her sleep i'm really enjoying how it progresses and how you can really really tell in the gameplay that she has more motor skills now julie just woke up and is hungry all right erin time to get up and let's have julie explore some more foods in high chair okay let's do smashed avocado Ooh, I think she likes it. How exciting, Julie loved smashed avocado. Oh my gosh, she's so excited. Yeah, okay, now we're being messy again. Can we eat our food while she eats? Oh my god, look at it. They're eating together, sort of. This is what I wanted, like this family moment. It's just a shame that Kyle isn't here, but he's asleep. Okay, um, how's Julie doing? Pretty, pretty sleepy. Oh my god, she's asleep in the high chair. Oh, poor thing. Let's put her in a crib. All right, love day is over. Kyle thought Love Day was pretty good. And Aaron thought Love Day was awesome. All right, it's the next morning. It's a Saturday, which means Kyle has work. I'm sure he'll manage on his own. Oh, Julie really needs a bath. <laughs> Bye, Kyle. Have a good day at work. All right, Julie's still asleep. So I guess we can do something fun in the meantime. Is practicing piano fun? Yes, it is. Good. Because I really wanted to get better at piano. We reached level three, though. God, I still really love these pictures. Like, look at that one. <laughs> Isn't that one amazing? Here we have Julie. We have Ian as well. These family pictures are so cute. I think Julie woke up, so we should probably take care of our infant. Hi, I know you're really, really smelly and probably hungry, but we can fix that. Oh, she's feeling so happy, though. I wonder if she's already feeling more at home in San Sequoia. I can't imagine her not feeling at home because she already met so many people. I mean, she's married now. Her kid's been living here this whole time as well. All right, Julie's feeling great. Aaron's feeling okay. Maybe we can do that practice standing thing. Practice standing. What does that look like? Okay, I'm now getting practice crawling. So I think the game was a little bit confused as to what point we're actually at. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> she's moving. I don't think she needs our help. I mean, that's one way to move across the room. Oh my God, look at this. She's, she's like moving all the way over there. She doesn't need our help, like seriously. <laughs> yeah, she's just moving around the house now. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, how to... <laughs> All right, so this is what happens when infants can move. <laughs> Let's quickly give her a toy again. It seemed to work last time. Oh no, our books! Our books! 
My precious books. Okay, so she has a toy now. So hopefully we can do something fun for a little bit. Oh, Kyle brought home 240 simoleons. Good job, Kyle. Thanks for making money for us. I think we we're still working on upgrading the tree house as well. So maybe we can add that sliding pole we've been wanting to add. Julie is asleep, so now's a good moment. I wonder where the sliding pole is going to be. Like, What's the logical space for that to be? Like here-ish? As long as it's not like here oh ian heron i've been thinking about getting to know more marcel price better as a friend do you think the two of us should hang out of course building friendship is a must even more friendships in town hey Aaron, i fancy some sakura tea want to get some at the romance festival with me i'm presuming he means as friends we are going to the romance festival did kyle have a reason to be jealous did he is this why he doesn't like ian <laughs> no they're just going as friends yeah it's fun though i love being invited we can meet more people we definitely needed some more friends for her aspiration as well so that's a good opportunity to meet more sims all right so we're at the romance festival so let's immediately talk to some people hi we need to level up our charisma skills so that's probably happening while we talk to people and we also need six more friends all right we should also try try the sakura tea because that's what we came here to do i don't know where ian is he just kind of invited us out and then left i don't know he's gone oh i want to talk to the romance guru that's fun okay let's pour sakura tea i guess we can do it together is that romantic no it's not okay that's fine so if he's still here he'll probably show up oh there he is oh he looks sad maybe hi ian look at that friendship bar it's like full 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 friendship bar i'm pretty sure ian is married and they don't even have a slight romance bar like it's all friendship let's cancel all the interactions and then pour soccer tea we are quite hungry as well what's that face i think that's a face of i'm hungry can we talk to the romance guru first let's ask about our current relationship let's see what they think is that a good face a bad face Ooh, fire fire bouquet of flowers probably not bad roses okay more roses so what's your verdict a match made to last the ages <gasps> okay cute oh we have mortimer <gasps> we were already building that friendship so mortimer is a good person to talk to let's ask the stargaze that's a good way of raising friendship really quickly he's wearing some piercings which is interesting for mortimer all right let's stargaze with mortimer it's a little bit romantic don't misunderstand kyle we definitely mean this in a friendly way exclusively okay he's our friend now so that's one more checked off our list love your shoes oh my god that's one fashionable outfit let's share baby pictures and throw paddles oh so cute oh she's hungry i forgot to order food uh let's see if we can ramen ramen sounds nice erin is just struggling with her chopsticks <laughs> Ooh, i think she likes it that's definitely the face of someone who just ate something incredibly delicious <laughs> okay let's have a little bit more conversation the festival is going to end in one hour at least we made one more friend a little bit closer to that aspiration actually working out for us just talking to a few more people it will also increase the chance of her being invited to places which would be good because that's more chances to meet people etc etc also it's just fun to travel okay the festival is officially ending everything is disappearing doesn't necessarily mean that the sims will leave so we can just tell a dramatic story to brent hacking just talk to a few more people trick with hand buzzer oh my god he teleported oh okay my game is being weird all right she's tired okay i'll just trick someone with a hand buzzer from a distance what is happening i think the game is slightly confused because the festival is you know leaving bit by bit <laughs> let's go home before more superpowers start manifesting back to our home in san sequoia that was fun we barely got to speak to ian but it was fun they drank the tea together let's greet kyle let's flirt a little maybe kiss his cheek and then we'll go to bed after we take care of julie is kyle doing it for us or is he just gonna put her on the floor okay now she's sad because wonders if anybody's actually listening you're literally being held right now she's also a little on fun i think fun was actually locked for a bit but now that she can sit up and crawl and move around she actually needs to have fun as well kind of want her to sleep though we'll do fun tomorrow because it is 5 a.m apparently okay yeah okay time to sleep let's put her to bed 
Or we'll just have Kyle take care of things. I'm sure that's fine. Let's just have Aaron sleep. Oh my god, he's actually about to leave in one hour. He has work in one hour. How do we end up staying so late for that festival? Like, what happens? Oh, look, I don't know what he did, but he took care of her fun need. So now she's just tired. So Kyle actually did a great job of taking care of Julie. Taking care of herself, though? Not what the... <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> why is Mortimer in our house and why does he want to become best friends? Why is he in our bedroom? She's sleeping. <laughs> I am so confused. Okay, um, this is slightly sad because as far as I'm aware, you can only be best friends with one sim. And we're already best friends with Kyle who asked earlier. So I think if I choose, of course, we're not going to be best friends with Kyle anymore. But we're also doing the say yes to everything challenge, so I need to say yes. So, of course. Slightly confused, though. We just became good friends, not best friends. Yeah, I didn't think we were at that level yet. Remember the time that we first met Mortimer and we literally said hi, like we introduced ourselves and we got a sentiment from that? This is feeling a little bit like that. <laughs> like Mortimer really wants to be friends with us. We are best friends now. Are we still best friends with Kyle? Like, can we be best friends with multiple Sims? Yes. Okay, so apparently we are able to be best friends with multiple Sims now. That's good. Opposites attract. I didn't realize there were opposites. I wonder what makes them opposites. Like, what trade makes them opposites? I don't know. So yeah, still not sure what Mortimer is doing in our bedroom. Slightly creeped out by it. Well, he's cleaning up for us, so I guess he can stay around for a bit. Taking out the trash as well. He's just doing all sorts of tasks for us. <laughs> then we like tell him we're having a hard time. Maybe we like told him we have an infant, we're pretty busy. And he just decided, you know what? I can come over, help you out with some chores, become best friends. <laughs> oh, and there's Ian at our door too. Let's invite him in. Come on in. Everybody's welcome in our house. Hi, Kyle. Please don't misunderstand. Yes, there are two men in our house. Um, uh, but they're just friends. <laughs> All right, Aaron is cooking them some lunch so maybe they can eat together. Ooh, cooking is delectable. Flip those flapjacks, toss that sauce. Aaron is in her element. Does she want to gobble up this opportunity to embrace that she likes cooking? Sure. Apparently Mortimer isn't staying for lunch. He's going. Ian is though. Let's hope that doesn't go wrong. Let's call them to a meal. We can all eat together, right? Without yelling at each other. Ooh, Ian is opting out of lunch. Maybe that's for the best. All right, I am going to be wrapping up the episode here because I feel like a lot happened already in the next episode we'll try to make some more friends see if we can maybe teach julie how to crawl and stand and do all of that so definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that but that's gonna be all for today thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye everyone